12 extremely underrated cyberpunk movies that you cannot miss. As our civilization continues to evolve, we constantly become more and more dependent on technology. But have you ever stopped to consider the perils of such an intimate relationship with technology? The genre of cyberpunk, a subgenre of science fiction, does precisely that. It explores a futuristic society where the dependency on technology is extremely high and the quality of life barely there. You can term this a society where there are high tech and low life. There are advanced artificial intelligence and other scientific achievements, but power rests in the hands of those who can manipulate information. Given the injustice of the system, cyberpunk offers a metaphorical take on the global dominance of technology. There have been some terrific movies made on this subject, and in this video, we will tell you about 12 underrated cyberpunk movies that will make your day. So sit back and enjoy the show as we take you through these iconic movies. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Sleep Dealer 2008 Not many movies have the heart to stand up to the American corporate hegemony, but this one does. Sleep Dealer tells the story of Memo, a hacker living in futuristic Mexico. When the military attacks his home, he escapes and gets involved with a journalist who uses Memo to sell her memories to others. But when the journalist gets a strange new assignment, the two find out some dark secrets about the society that they live in. The plot will send shivers down your spine if you do not have the cultural ignorance to trash the film because of the supposed anti-American sentiments. It takes up delicate subjects like technological imperialism and the exploitation of foreign labor. Those who are aware of the privatization of water will enjoy the movie all the more. The director, Alex Rivera, weaves his magic with cultural and social ciphers. He is helped by some impressive acting performances by the cast. Watch this movie for a new perspective on globalization. All that glitters might not be gold. To appreciate a new concept. City, 1998. The story begins with a man, John Murdoch, waking up in the bathtub of his hotel room. He has no recollection of how he got there, and to his utter shock, there is a dead prostitute in the room. He becomes a prime suspect in the murder, and is forced to be on the run. Soon he realizes the sinister presence of a group of beings called the Strangers that can put someone to sleep and alter the city and the situations. This is possibly the best work of legendary director Alex Proyas. The movie scores big when it comes to the visual effects and there are some heart-stopping scenes to hold your excitement. The musical score by Trevor Jones is impactful as well as it perfectly suits the dark ambience of the storyline. As for the acting performances, the likes of Rufus Sewell, William Kurt, Kiefer Sutherland, and Jennifer Connelly do a brilliant job. The futuristic designs together with plexing storyline make for a potboiler in the world of sci-fi movies. The action fans won't be disappointed either, with some jaw-dropping fight sequences, including the last scene of the film. You may choose to ignore this gem of a movie at your own peril. Where you come from? The Cell 2000 a psychotherapist discovers a new treatment where she can enter the mind of her patient. When the FBI tracks down a serial killer, they ask her to enter his mind to get the information about his last victim. The task won't be easy as she would have to navigate through the twisted mind of the ruthless killer in order to get the information. There is also a threat that the killer's sight can overpower her own. This is one of the most underrated serial killer movies that has the ability to give you the creeps. The method of murder where the killer drowns victims in glass cells as he videotapes them is enough to up the eerie quotient. The cinematography is brilliant and almost makes dialogue redundant. Vincent D'Onofrio is amazing as the serial killer, and Vince Vaughn also delivers the goods. If you like nothing else in this movie, you can always pass time admiring the mesmerizing Jennifer Lopez who plays a pivotal role. The direction by someone who did music videos previously will pleasantly surprise you. In short, we can't find one reason for you to not watch this movie that dares to be so different.
The Zero Theorem, 2013. In a futuristic dystopian world, a talented computer operator is given a task to prove the Zero Theorem. It would prove that the universe ends in nothing and would make all lives meaningless. However, this socially isolated genius craves for meaning to his life. He is introduced to some interesting characters along the way who change his perspectives altogether. The director, Terry Gilliam, is no stranger to dystopian satires, and he does justice to his creativity with this one as well. It is unfortunate that such cult classics do not get bigger budgets. The tone and theme of the movie will remind you of the film Brazil. Christoph Waltz steals the show with his remarkable performance. The special effects add more appeal to this film, and the neon-colored world appears mystifying. If you are a fan of no-brainer sci-fi movies, then this might not appeal to you. There are complex characters, a complicated plot, and this will require your rapt attention. Johnny Mnemonic, 1995. If you thought delivery jobs were easy, you clearly had no idea about the futuristic mnemonic data courier. The movie is premised in a world in the year 2021. Most of the people suffer from a disease called nerve attenuation syndrome. A data courier is hired to carry an important data package from the Pharmacom Corporation, but there are Yakuza agents and a cyborg who are looking to get their hands on this information. To make matters worse, the data courier would die in 24 hours if he failed to deliver the package. The movie has some reputed actors, and the mix of things, and the likes of Keanu Reeves, Dina Meyer, and Dolph Lundgren live up to the expectations. Cool gadgets, colorful characters, and a unique storyline make this an enjoyable experience. This is cyberpunk at its best, as they show a world that is dominated by mega corporations with East Asian influences. If you can, get your hands on the alternate version, as it has quite a few changes. There are some exciting action scenes involving futuristic weapons. It is a pity that such a complete sci-fi my action movie is so underrated. It is high time you watched it, in case you haven't already. Brazil, 1985. How many times have you dreamt of being a hero and saving a beautiful damsel in distress? The protagonist of this movie, a low-level bureaucrat named Sam Lowry, does the same. However, his dreams become reality as he investigates the wrongful arrest and death of an innocent man. Sam even meets a woman from his dreams, and as luck would have it, she does require some saving. He takes on a corrupt system and a dangerous terrorist while trying to help her. Terry Gilliam has his way with cyberpunk movies, and Brazil is another fine instance of his creative work. This film serves as a beautiful satire presented in the garb of an interesting storyline. Things in the acting department cannot go wrong when you have actors like Jonathan Price, Robert De Niro, and Catherine Hellman. There is a stunning change in this film from the usual cyberpunk movies. While these movies tend to show a futuristic world where technological advancements have peaked, Brazil society that has made no progress since the 40s or 50s. The movie has the trademark, Terry Gilliam's visual effects, and a hilarious script to go with it. If you are up for the intriguing mix of dystopia and comedy, go ahead and watch Brazil. Strange Days, 1995. A former cop now deals in dreams. Basically, he deals in data disks that contain some recorded emotions and memories. It is all fun and games till one day he stumbles upon a disk that contains memories of a murderer who killed a prostitute. The cop goes deeper into the matter and soon finds himself in a maze of mysteries surrounding the murderer. Can he eventually crack the case? Watch the movie to find out. There are some interesting background references in Strange Days that you will find relatable. They speak about the increasing gas prices, economic collapse, and the strained relationship between the minorities and the police, subjects that are relevant even today. The script is intriguing, and it is no surprise that James Cameron was the co-writer for this one. As for the cast, Ralph Fiennes, Tom Seesmore, and the others pull off some challenging roles. There are some exciting scenes, such as the opening scene where a robbery takes place in a Chinese restaurant. There is not one dull moment in this disturbing yet inventive film. Do not go by the dismal box office performance of this movie, and if you try this out, you would thank us later.
Avalon 2001. Avalon tells the story of a future world where young people are addicted to an illegal and deadly battle simulation game. Ash hears about an advanced level in this game and spends all her time trying to get there. But once she does, coming back to reality is no easy task because the only way to stop is to win the game. A great find in this movie is the Polish actress, Malgorzana Foremniak, who delivers a graceful performance. The director, Mamoru Oshii, who directed the anime Ghost in the Shell, works his magic around this movie as well. The cinematography is exquisite and the lighting is equally impressive. Avalon is like cyberpunk poetry in motion, a soothing soundtrack, play, the perfect foil to the engaging plot. There are some slow scenes in this movie, but then it was never meant to be like the exciting action movies. Avalon is not for everyone, but those with a knack for a thoughtful storyline will find this a fascinating watch. <laughs> Upgrade 2018 Sometimes your best bet to enjoy a good movie is to ignore the negativity surrounding the film. Upgrade is one such movie that will surprise you with its out-of-the-box content. The story revolves around a man who loses his wife and is hell-bent on revenge. He gets an implant that helps him get back on his feet and also enhances his fighting capabilities. Can he seek revenge on his wife's murderers? And will that be enough to satisfy him? There is more to this movie than what meets the eye. The intelligent script is one of the greatest assets of the movie. To put together the same old revenge drama and present it in an innovative manner is no easy task, but the makers do that effortlessly. Even with a low budget, the makers do an exceptional job with the visual effects, and the rookie cast put together a mature performance. The futuristic decor is fulfilling and actually takes you into a make-believe society. You won't be able to take your eye off the fantastic fight choreography, and the movie is loaded with violence and gore. The movie is totally going to be worth your time if you appreciate cyberpunk. Virtuosity, 1995. If one serial killer is scary enough, imagine the minds of 150 put together. In the movie Virtuosity, a virtual reality entity is made by synthesizing elements from 150 serial killers and things get out of control when it escapes the lab by injecting its personality into an android. An ex-cop is assigned the task of bringing in the dangerous entity, but it is hard enough to catch one serial killer and this is 150 times more difficult. Virtuosity is no sci-fi masterpiece, but at the same time, it's no trash either. There is an interesting plot that is made further appealing with the usage of some state-of-the-art special effects. Denzel Washington does a decent job as the cop, and Russell Crowe is magnetic in his appeal, even as a serial-killing android. The fast-paced action sequences will keep you at the edge of your seats. Cinematography and direction are up to the mark, and in a nutshell, Virtuosity is a very entertaining flick that you can enjoy on a fun evening.